this is the ghost forest at Nescowin on the Oregon coast. And this forest was killed in either in the tsunami of 1700 or previously. Some of these trees are older than that, apparently. And this is generally underwater. We're at the, pretty much the lowest tide. Back in like 96 or 97, there was a, just some really big storm surge that scoured away the sand and revealed these trees. So these things have been preserved underground for hundreds of years. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild to, ima to imagine a forest here. I'm not sure if the, uh, the coast actually sunk down during one of those mega quakes. And so this forest used to be higher and then the ground actually lowered. I'm not sure. Um, or sunk down over time. There might be an answer to that that someone has figured out. But most people believe, most scientists believe that these trees were destroyed in a tsunami. And uh, they tree ring date, a lot of them, to 1700. That year 1700 is established pretty well because there are multiple forests like this on the Oregon and Washington coast. And tree ring dating establishes the year 1700 pretty, pretty accurately and consistently. And uh, it correlates with a lot of the, uh, the layers, both off the coast and uh, on the, uh, off the coast, inland from the coast, as well as underwater, deep in the ocean, that uh, certain layers were triggered during tsunamis uh, and underwater landslides. And tsunamis, when they happen, these huge tsunamis leave um, a layer of beach sand inland. And so you can find these inland beach layers. I've got to actually walk away from the ocean right now because the tide's coming in. You can see that the barnacles and some of these bigger ones, I'm looking at one right now, have, have uh, anemones and other little creatures living on, on the stumps. They're actually not the stumps, they're uh, far up on the trees. You just imagine a tsunami coming in here and destroying these trees. And uh, most of the information about this mega quake that could happen, and that has happened in the past, uh, has, has really been confirmed and figured out in the last 30 or 40 years, especially the last 20 years. And the public hasn't been particularly knowledgeable about it until recently, really, last year or two, maybe last five years. Structural engineers have been aware of the risk. Uh, at least I've been aware of it for, I don't know, seven or eight myself. Um, it wasn't a field that I was focused on. In, until recently. It's certainly fascinating. So now these people that live off the coast here have this uh, tsunami risk. I'm not sure what these people would be doing about it.